gobbler to clear your plumbing. Will it work? Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for Green Gobbler. Well, if you've got a plumbing problem, you may have seen the video that we did before with Green Gobbler. Now, this is a Green Gobbler powder, and, well, it kind of worked, but it kind of didn't work that well. So, you know what? We're gonna get rid of that. We have upgraded to the Green Gobbler liquid. For slow moving drains, send in the Green Gobbler. Green Gobbler Drain Clog Dissolver liquefies hair, grease, soap scum, and more to safely eliminate clogs. This is literally a split bottle, which is actually pretty cool. You could put Jack in one side, Coke, no, never mind. Uh, anyway, this is what they told me. If you've got a sink drain, you use one side. If you've got a toilet drain, you use both sides. Well, today, we're gonna stick so much crap down the sink that, well, it looked like some of the jobs that we go to sometime to unstop it. So anyway, let's put a bunch of crap in the sink and see if we can get it out of there with Green Gobbler. <laughs> All right, so last time, well, we stuck cabbage, rice, eggs, noodles, all kinds of fun stuff down there. So we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Now, we don't have any running water out here and we're gonna pull out the basket strainer because, well, with this in here, gee, nothing would really go down. Hmm, maybe that's why you should leave it in there. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some cabbage and we're gonna force it down into the opening there. That's it, boy. Get in there nice and deep like. Cabbage is something you really don't wanna put a lot of down, even your garbage disposal. It will grind it up, but it's gonna make it get down in your pot, and then when it gets wet, it's gonna swell up and stick. So we just wanted to stick some down in here, force it down through the opening here in the sink, and make sure we get enough down there to really stop it up good. Now, I don't know that anybody at home would actually force it down in there like this, but some of the stuff we've pulled out, you would think that they used a jackhammer to pack it in there. All right, so we got a nice, good handful of cabbage down in there. If you're a plumber, tell me, what is the strangest thing you've ever seen stop up a kitchen sink? Because I actually did one one time, went over to the house, undid the P-trap, and it was packed full of eggshells. Like they had actually tried to stuff them down in there. Now, they said that wasn't the case, but they did say that their nephew had come over and wanted to cook, and he stuck everything down the garbage disposal. Whoa! Any of you college kids ever eat the, what do they call them in college? Boom alert! Boom alert! Ramen noodles. Ramen Any of you kids in college ever eat the ramen noodles and just dump them down the drain? Well, that's kind of what we did today. So this time I'm gonna use the fork to kind of help push all this down in there. Oh man, I'll tell you what. Luckily, I'm not a big noodle guy, so this is not anything that I've ever really just grown up on or wanted to do. But I do remember being in jail one time for a traffic ticket, and this was what was for lunch. Oh yeah, it is going down in there. Oh, it feels nasty. Reminds me of a girl I dated in high school one time, actually. Uh, she ate a lot of these, so just saying. This is freaking nasty. Now, now we're gonna go a little rice roni but I gotta tell you, man, it looks like mush roni And we're gonna go ahead and start trying to pack that down in there too. And I gotta tell you, I was hungry before I started this, but now all these smells together, it just, I'm kinda not hungry now. What a way to go on a diet. Now, if any of y'all at home ever pack stuff down in your drain like this, you deserve what you're gonna get. Uh, it would be so easy to just scoop this up and put it in the trash can. Know your f place, trash. But I wanna make sure I get enough stuff down in here to really clog this thing up good. Just to add a little bit of fun to it. You know, you would think that I would just kinda, yeah, we're just gonna drop it all down in there. Cause like I said, eggshells, the worst thing I've ever had to dig out of one. Oh yeah. Mmm, so good and tasty. So let me down, let me comment down below. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Chicken. Now I am kind of hungry. Disgusting. All right, let's see what we can do. 
Okay, so it says, let it set in the drain 15 to 30 minutes or overnight. Rinse or wipe with wet cloth any excess product left behind. If I pour this in now, it's gonna rise the sink. Yeah. yeah. So should I clean some of this back out now to pour it down in there where it's just in the drain? Guys, this stuff is not good for you, I understand that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my rubber gloves on. You know what they say, wrap it before you tap it. And I'm gonna tap it right down in there. Tap it in, just tap it in. I'm gonna pour this down in here because I want it to penetrate. This is what most homeowners are gonna do. Now, if I mess up my sink, it's okay. I wanna show it to you anyway. And we're pouring it right down the middle. And we're gonna go ahead and use the whole bottle like it says. And remember, we're doing a tub, a shower, or a sink. So we're just using one side. We'll set a timer for 30 minutes. We will come back. And at that point, it tells me to rinse it out with hot water and go from there. So we will see what happens. Okay, so this time we tried the Green Gobbler and it just ain't doing nothing. Now, did I overpack it? Well, I packed it like I've found drains before, nothing crazy. But what we are gonna do, let me reach into my drawer. This is a plunger, a top sink plunger that a plumber would normally use. Now remember, this is a chemical, so you wanna be very careful. Anytime you call a plumber out and you've already poured stuff like this in there, please let them know. If they don't have on eye protection, they don't have on the right clothes, gloves, anything like that, they could actually be in pretty bad shape. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Now, I'm not gonna force it a lot. I'm not gonna get it flying everywhere, but I'm gonna add a little bit of hot water just to kind of dilute this down a little bit. And who knows, maybe it'll magically push it out. Or not. Yeah, it didn't even move it. So. As a plumber, what I would do at this point is get this right over my drain. Ah, hey! Oh, I'm getting a little movement. Not a lot, but I'm getting it to move. Now it's starting to go down. Mm. And as you can tell from the P-trap, it actually cleaned it all out, got it all out. Would it have done just as well without Green Gobbler? It's possible, it's definitely worth trying at home. I definitely recommend you having a plunger around your house anytime you need it. Anyway, if you like this video, you're definitely gonna like the next one.